Shout out Wama, praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rekha, Kadash. Right, double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. So, you brothers teach the way to sincerity and the truth. Uh, so, I'm going to do a quick video on this. Um, and uh, obviously, it's going to be sh short because of the topic it is. And it's not an odyssey. So, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's play some of this here. Big data. Uh, so this is a um, GMS Watchman. And if the verses on the uh, on the screen, which we all know what this is, we all know that um, these uh, these elites are, are are pushing this. They're pushing this. Why are they always talking about this stuff on the on the on the on the, on the, the, the media and, and and all that? And why is it being backed by top people in society or or, or the elites' mouthpieces or or you know? or their organizations that they run, or their pawns, or whatever the, the, the case be, that, and their outlets, the media outlets, and, and all that, businesses, media outlets. Why are they always talking about the digital, the digital ID? They're always talking about that because that's exactly where things are going. Now, um, before I play this, just quick words and that, but uh, when you check it out, you know, this is not something, you know, these, these everybody that scoffs, and you know, I'm going to get a quick scripture on that before I just play this. Everybody that scoffs against what we're saying, it's not like, this ain't, it's not like a couple of lads in a pub just come up with the idea of this digital ID. Oh, no, it can't be that, and that can't be this. You scoffers out there, this is being pushed by whether you like it or not. This is how, this is where society is going. It's where it's at. Digital payments, uh, uh, you, 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 all your records being merged into one system. It's all happening, whether you like it or not. And that's in Revelations 13. Whether you like it or not, this is Romans 3 and 3. It says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Mosai Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai? We've got to say the names. They say, without effect. So if just because you you don't believe it doesn't mean that it's not happening and it's not what's going on around you. Like I said, the the the, the digital agenda and then all that and the, the the buying and selling going digital is not something that is just spoken about by a couple of not jobs in the pub, and and that's what these scoffers, whether it be Israelite groups, which you know a lot of the scoffers is coming from Israelite groups. And you know the two main scoffers of this 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 mark is 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 Israelite groups, and you'd think that an Israelite person is supposed to be enlightened, right? But then you find out no, because you find out that it's just a night, and that being an Israelite is an is a, is a nationality. But a lot of people they don't have um, the oil, they don't have the spirit. The Lord hasn't really given them that oil, man. Is not really activated them on a highest higher level? And then the other group is those, uh, is your, um, is is your, is the people in the world, is your civilians? Nah, that can't be that, man. Nah, you know, that, and that's how the you like you Israelite groups are coming. You're coming with the spirit of of people that are asleep, zombies in the world. Nah, that ain't the market. Nah, man. You come on, give me a break. So Romans three and three. What if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of your whole Bosham Yahshua without effect? For the most high Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai forbid, yea, let the most high Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightst be justified in thy sayings. All right, might might it's overcome in our judgment. At the end of the day, the prophecies, the this is the words of the Lord that he gave to the prophets. So the prophets were going to speak the words of the most high, and it was going to be come to pass what they're saying. And now when all these things are coming to pass, as they're coming to pass, you find that a lot of Israelite groups backpedaling uh, or they're not addressing the topic. And they're, they're doing tactics and they're trying to play it out as it's not important. But the scripture says, be not ignorant in a matter small or great, right? So you're talking about people's lives on out, out, out here. We're talking about food shortage. We're talking about the economy. And you're talking about, nah, that don't matter. Well, and, and, and like I said, 
All you gotta know is that you're an Israelite. That's it, according to them. No signs, no prophecies. When it, when you had people that knew they were Israelites back in 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 Rome, but they were of the elect. So this is not just enough knowing you're Israelite. All right. Okay, yo, give me a second here. It's like scriptures are not being ignorant here. But what I want to do is get um uh da, let me look for it. I think it's in Corinthians. Uh, trying to see if I can remember where this what the scripture is. So you know, sometimes things slip your mind, certain precepts and stuff like that. Okay, Ecclesiastes. That's why I went to the Apocrypha because my mind I thought so. I have in Corinthians or it's in the Apocrypha. Well, I remember it's in the Apocrypha, right? So I had to search here. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiasticus five and fifteen. Be not ignorant of anything. And I knew the word, in, you know, but that's where you gotta, you know, search it partial. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So they're making it out like you're a whack job for 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 going into these prophecies and talking about the the the, the digital agenda and how which is going to affect everybody on the planet. It's going to affect them, their mom, their children, their, their aunts, themselves, and they're they're playing it off like, oh you you're a paranoid person if you if you're going into this stuff. Meanwhile, they're raking in the dollar, dollar bills. And they're and a lot of them are, are chasing mammon, chasing the physical notes. But well, I know we know according to these scriptures, man. And the Lord was talking about give us this day our daily bread. We're not we're not m m money motivated. You know, we know that the economic um system as it is is gonna collapse. You know the money's based off debt and inflation. And all this, so why would you put your trust in that? It doesn't make no sense, does it? All right, so let's go to the clip. So big data, uh, digital tools at the service of uh, medical and biological progress and advancing very fast. But can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? Um, I, I think that is imaginable. I think... Um... I, I think, you know, you can imagine that, you can imagine... <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, when he when he asked if is it imaginable, um, you know, he, he pretty much... He pretty much took a couple of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, to think. He was looking in the sky, all of that. And, um, you know, this is the thing with this agenda, is of getting the people to accept it. We, you, you can clearly see that a lot of people are not going to accept it. And that's where... What comes in is all these, uh, uh, the prophecies. I'm not going to go into all of the other, other stuff right now, but all the prophecies about, about the order of chaos and your famines and your, you know, the, you know this planned chaos, and the, which, which, like we say, the Heavenly Father is behind all this chaos because the Lord set Esau up to be the wicked. So, for example, I'll give you an example. You could have a storm or a tornado. You could, you could have... Or let's say you could have like an earthquake or sort of used by harp, you source technology and stuff like that. But then you could, but then most, yeah, the most high deal would, uh, is the one that made him do that. And then the most high has got tornadoes and storms himself. Well, that's the originator of tornadoes and storms. But you source got technology to create earthquakes and, you know, harp and all of that sort of stuff as well. But um, as they say, but, you know, because he's trying to play the most high. And that, and that's what that's where you get your your missiles from. Remember, um, in uh, Sodom, 
and Gomorrah, the Heavenly Father, rained fire from the sky. Okay, which was your uh, concentrated fiery rain from the sky. Now you saw us build up nukes. And, uh, but, but, but remember the scripture says power was given to him to take peace from the earth. So it's not of his own will. He didn't, the Lord, the technologies came from the mo most high. These nukes came from the most, you, you wouldn't, they had to be inspired to do that. They didn't just wake up themselves and do that. Because so you, if you, you go into it, you remember that Esau Edom um, was a, it was a basis of men. Let's get that quickly. Job 31, but, nay, but now they that are younger than I have, have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yea, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for, for their meat. They, drew, they were driven forth from among men, they cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the rocks and caves of the earth and in the rocks. And, you know, through the spirit of the Lord and through, you know, understanding of the scriptures, man, and, and linking everything up. You know, this isn't talking about some Arabs in a cave somewhere in Afghanistan. This is talking about the Edomites. Okay. No, they actually and and and, and you know you saw my Edomites love those clefts of the rocks. They, you know, you look at Petra, they actually built cities in these rocks as well. You know. But they was they were on a base level, because they're a base people as it is. Even going back to the beginning, selling the birthrights, they use a murderer from the beginning. That's the same spirit. But um so you you know you you, you know you, you go by uh you know, um, just like the scripture says, the spirit beareth witness of our spirit that we're the children of the most high. But the spirit beareth witness with the spirit of the devil that they are the devil and that they are base people. That's it. There's no other way around that. All right. So it says to dwell in the cliffs of the rocks and in the caves of the earth and in the rocks among the bushes they braid and under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were violent in the earth. And these, these people that were dealing with the humans, just look at them. Even look at them Amalekites, man. I'm not even going to go all into that. You get clipped. <laughs> you literally get your videos clipped. So, um, the Lord raised them up with uh, this, this. He raised them up. Because now they're known as being wiser than Daniel. And and the Lord, the heavenly Father is the one that took a base man and raised him up onto this level that he is a caveman. Fred Flintstone, uh, whatever you call that guy, guy in commercial or whatever you call it, caveman, into some intellect in a business suit, man. You know, running the show and logistics, but that's that's the power of um, the the Most High. He raised the base man up and put him, raised him up. And that's in, that's in a few other scriptures. Now, uh, what I wanted to do here is let me go to this. So you had this, I don't even know, Klaus Swab, right? Born in 1938, he's a German engineer and economist. In, 17, in 1971, he founded what would become the World Economic Forum where he currently serves as, as, as an executive chairman. Swab has been criticised for receiving a salary of FS1 million while declaring publicly that excessive high management salaries were no longer socially acceptable. So I just wanted to read, I wanted to read something quick on him. And, um, it, you know, this World Economic Forum, which I'm not going to go too much into any of that. Because like I said, you know what they're going to do with these channels if you do that. Uh, you find out that um, 
you know, these organizations are pushing the agenda of what we was talking about. Okay. And that's the, with this agenda, what we were talking about is being pushed by, you know, these companies. All right. I'm going to his career. So I'm not going to go all into this. What I am going to do. Click, you know, when they do, we click this, yeah. The World Health Organization is an internal non governmental and lobbying organization based in Cologne, Catalan, or Genevieve, Switzerland, or Gen Geneva. It says it was founded on the 24th of Jan 1970 by German engineer and economist Karl Schwab. Okay. Um, let's read uh, this. You know, let me read it. It says a foundation which is mostly funded by its 1,000 member companies, typically global enterprises with more than 5 billion. US dollars in turnover, as well as public subsidies, views its, <laughs> views its own mission as improving the state of the world by engaging business, political, academic, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and in, in, the, industry, in the industry agendas. Okay, so there you go. Now you've got a lot of these... Um, global companies that are set up for certain uh, reasons and certain agendas okay and this is just one of them I'm not going to go like I said I'm not going to go too much into it touch more on this stuff more in depth stuff on it on the um, Odyssey account okay um There you go. What am I what I'm gonna do here? But that was the point. I'm gonna leave this one here. But you got the point. Um and then look, you know, these individuals, oh the, the, these 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 people out here, they're they're all uh they're all um um uh they're all there's an agenda going on here and they're all on it. They were all in on it and they're on it and whatever. And they were all pushing what the scriptures talks about in these end times. Um, the basis of men. You know what? That is what I'm going to get. I think it's in Daniels. It says the Lord have put the basis of men. Let me see if I can. I don't know how I would have put that. I'm going to spell that. Uh, how the hell would I put that? You know what? Give me a second here. Yeah. Let me try one more time. I'm, I'm when it comes to spelling, I ain't, I ain't good at that. So I'll tell you. Right, let's keep it. There's a scripture I'm trying to, well, I can't, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go back and I'll look into it and see if I can find it, but, um, okay, the, I uh, see, I've got it here, so you got to get it right, you got to get the fucking spelling right, man, I'll put the S 
in front of the instead of after the E, and that was it. When the now this is Daniel's four and seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent. Just give me a second, one sec. Oh, it's a luck. I just had to, uh, I just had to sort something out. One of the pals. Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, so I was reading here, Daniel's four seventeen. This is, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know, that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to, giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth it over. And set up over it the basest of men. So these, uh, like we said, they've gone from uh, being on a base level to being raised up. You know, and 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 get it, and don't get it twisted. They're uh, in, they're they're in, they're they, you know they got wit and all that, but and they're raised up, but they're still heathens. That's why they they've got these complete heathenistic abominable plans. And and, and 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 all that they're still the wicked they're the wicked so that you so you can use wit for for wickedness and that's exactly what they do to to enslave to destroy to to just to, to just degrade everything on the planet let's get that It says the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So, uh, like I said, like we always talk about putting your trust and for like for you scoffers out there, you 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 scoffers and stuff like that, you you're off, you're you're off your heads because you know here it is, you, you, here it is right. Um, you scoffers are off your heads. Here it is, we we can clearly see what. Um, these elites, and and that's why you gotta think. This is true. Of the, you, these guys are just the sellouts, man. You've took purses. You've sold out to the to the hidden hands uh, and the little peons of the hidden hands. You know, just to because because here it is. You got all of this happening, and all the stuff that they're pushing. Just get some of these, you know, images, pictures. Have an implant, you know. Picture speaker, lah. So here we just, we got all this that they're saying and they're coming out saying it. And um, like the brother's got on the screen, Isaiah 42 verse 9, new things do I declare before the before they spring forth, I tell you. So before it happens, we we were going to know through this, through because the, the most high Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is the one that is set this up anyway, it's his movie. So, you know, uh, here it is, right? 
with all this going on, um, so I'm just rec- you know you you got a lot, you got a lot in the mind you you know you kind of but with all this going on here it is you you denying what the prophecy states when it's clear that what the Lord said was going to happen is happening and it's happening in your face being flooded with it and that's what it is and you're sitting there talking about nah that ain't that Rev 13 ain't um um you know ain't the uh the thing to the point where see this video lord wouldn't it stays up but to the point where you gotta you 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 put a video like this up on the and the YouTube and all that. It's to strip it off, you know, which shows us that we're speaking the truth. Because why would they do that if we were speaking lies? We're just making things up and was bogged out. They wouldn't be going out their way to delete the videos off the YouTube, would they? No. So we got to, the question is: are, are you guys just bogged out, or did you sell out? A lot of you sold out, you know, a lot of you just sold out, let's be honest. Yeah. You know, just by your delivery and all that and the way you go. I don't want to bring the lesson into that because, you know, that that's a, I could do a whole lesson on that. Just sit in Moses' seat, the broad in there, phylacteries and all that. You know, um, or the hem of their garments, whatever it said. And, 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 you know, they're getting um, them checks. A lot of years, uh, one of the, a lot of years, some years are teaching falsehoods because you're getting paid to do that. Let's get the scripture on that. Matthew 6, 24, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high, Yahweh, or Yahweh, Shai, and mammon. And if you look at that word mammon, it just it means riches. I think it was mammon, mammonos or something like that. Mam, you know, mammon or whatever. <laughs> I, I could look it up in the blue letter, but I've got another scripture on there. But uh, you look that up, right, and it goes right into your riches. A lot of years are trying to, oh yeah, you got garments on, but you're really trying, you're really after the dollar bills. Uh, one sec. You worship this. Let me type in, let me see what comes up. You hold the things in your hand as if it's like a god, and it is a god. Because what do these people do? And they really shouldn't even record money. It's recorded what it is. A Federal Reserve. A, 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 a debt note, man. And look at it. And look at it. And they don't even it's paper. It's got, and it's got uh, symbols of sorcery on there. We'll go into that in another lesson. And you're sitting up here worshipping and not talking about that. You're out of your fucking minds, man. Okay, so that's a lot of years are counting up that. Why? Because there's no way how all this is coming out here, and you're gonna sit up there and 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 and, 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 and try and twist it when clearly it is what it is. Before these, let me, let me, let me go back here. I have an implant. Isaiah forty-two and nine. New things do I declare before they spring forth. I what I tell you. So oh, no, it can't. You guys say, oh no, it can't be that. Well, obviously it is because he said it's something that the Lord's prophesied and told you what would what it would be. There weren't there was no microchip that was used in Rome to implant everybody to do that. So obviously it was something that was going to happen in the beast system for buying and selling. They got the technology to do it, and you're sitting out there scoffing. Let me 
Every time I finish words, man. You know what? Um, let me get peas, because I'm telling you, the spelling thing is just. Okay, scuff is a fourth of a view. So your peer is there. Alright. Knowing this first that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lusts. Okay, so a lot of years are not really meditating on the destruction and the Lord coming back. A lot of years have got investments here that you don't want to lose. <coughs> you got plans. But there's nothing you can do. These prophecies are, are an plan. Just like when they locked everything down, you didn't know saying that. And why did it do <coughs> Excuse me. Why did they do that? They did it for um this global agenda that we're talking about here, yeah, that the plans that they got, what they what they're trying to get in. Alright. So anyway, I'm gonna close out with that. Um I'm gonna close out with that one. So uh hey, with that one I'm gonna say shadow one.